Every day, doctors use ultrasounds, CT scans, and MRIs to see inside the body without making an incision. Those tests are great at showing size and structure, but they don't show important physical properties such as tissue stiffness, which, for example, is a sign of fibrosis in the liver. But researchers at Mayo Clinic have developed technology that uses sound waves to see if a patient's liver is harder than it should be, if it's developing fibrosis. It's called magnetic resonance elastography, and it offers a non-invasive alternative to liver biopsy. Magnetic resonance elastography, or MRE, it combines MRI technology and low-frequency sound waves. This is an MR image of the upper abdomen. And here, this very large organ in the upper abdomen is the liver. Now looking at this uh, liver with magnetic resonance imaging, regular magnetic resonance imaging, it's not possible to tell whether or not this patient has fibrosis in the liver. But Mayo Clinic radiologist Dr. Richard Eman demonstrates that when used during an MRI, the new MRE technology shows, on a color scale, the stiffness of a liver. Here's how it works. This drum generates uh, waves in the abdomen. The drum is placed on the patient's abdomen. The sound waves move through stiff tissue and supple tissue at different rates. A computer analyzes the differences and shows what's healthy soft tissue and what's not, like in this other patient. This shows the sound waves moving through the tissues of the upper abdomen. This is the final product of this uh, diagnostic procedure. It's called an elastogram. And it shows if a patient has fibrosis and where it is in the liver. Many liver diseases, including autoimmune hepatitis, hepatitis C, and alcoholism can lead to fibrosis. And if the condition is not successfully treated, the disease can progress to cirrhosis, for which the only treatment is liver transplantation. MRE is another tool in the fight against the progression of these diseases. Future uses of MRE may include imaging the breast, prostate, and other organs.